Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews and today I've got another episode of Classic Candy Corner and I found this of all places at Walmart. I thought I wasn't able to be, be able to uh, I thought I wasn't going to be able to find these. I'd looked like in the Dollar Tree and, um, you know, some of the other places like that. They have, you know, kind of the old time classic candy um, for fairly cheap. And But I did find them at uh, Walmart. A lot of times you would find these at, you know, a true candy store. And these are good old fashioned root beer barrels. They are hard candy. They taste like root beer. They look like little barrels. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, I did find them, like I said, of all places, Walmart. They were just kind of there, and they're the great value, so nothing spectacular there. I've also seen ones that are Dad's root beer, and then they also have one that's root beer float, so I guess they put, like, vanilla in with it. And, yeah, they were all individually wrapped, like a barrel, kind of like the creamy root beer candy. And, um... I know I had these all the time. Root beer barrels, the hard candy, the sour, the sour balls, I guess you used to call them, the hard candy. Um, yeah, uh, ribbon candy, any of that stuff. But yeah, sour, the chewy ones, anything like that that was, you know, real hard candy. But like I said, these were probably something, you know, your grandparents had. <laughs> but um, yeah, here we go. Mm classic root beer tastes just like root beer nice creamy yeah I could remember that probably from when I was little I know you know grandma or my aunts or uncles or someone would always have them at their house usually they had them you know a little dish of candy for the grandkids or whoever came over that probably wasn't the best thing when everybody would come over and then they would have the candy and then bounce off the walls but and root beer barrels now you would get these also with the brock's candy mix so you can get them by the pound you get like a scoop of them it's like the hard candy the little fruit slices um the sour ones also the bonbons the nougats the um the ones with the three colors and the <laughs> coconut that I didn't care for. But it seems like, yeah, you would get them at the candy store, scoop them out, get them by the pound, the half pound or whatever, or mix and match. And like I said, um, I know I'd seen, I have seen these at the, like pack and save or one of those bulk things that the, you yeah. know, that you could get the bulk candy from, get up by the scoop. Um, root beer barrels were always good. They're always kind of like a backup. These were always good also for after dinner, kind of like an after dinner palate cleanser, I guess. Or maybe if you just want something a little bit sweet. Um, well, and it was like, almost like drink, having root beer. Because all you did was um, pop it in your mouth and then um, kind of reminded you of, you know, drinking a nice creamy frosty root beer. Also, you know, you put them in the mug and get them nice and frosty and chilled. But, you know, these were true classics. And, like I said, this bag will last me you know, quite a while. And that way, you know, you have a little bit of um, something for after dinner, maybe to cleanse your palate. Especially if you eat something like garlic or anything strong spicy sometimes a little bit of sweet helps to tame it down um plus i like i, I always love a root beer cream soda anything creamy like that um always nice and refreshing and like i said root beer barrels they were kind of the all-time you know go-to just a nice little sweet snack little candy like that and you know true classic um i don't know how long these have been around probably for as long as candy stores have been around, peppermint, saltwater taffy, things like that. You know, this was kind of a, along the lines of that. I mean, they've just been around forever. It's kind of one of the go-to snacks. You know, it's just fun. And like I said, you know, kids used to love them. These were, another thing you would do with these, if you had like Brock's candy or something like that, 
and you get it by the pound, you put them inside a pinata. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the people would put the pinata, they'd have it at, uh, you know, bar mitzvahs or, or Cinco de Mayo or your birthday or whatever occasion you had a pinata for. And, uh, yeah, the kids would <laughs> beat the heck out of it with a, with a baseball bat or a stick and it would, uh, candy go flying. And this one would really hang, um, stand up to the <laughs> beating of the pinata, you know, because, uh, it was hard candy and it didn't really crack or it didn't break, whatever. You got something like the other ones that would get all smashed up or it would melt. Um, they were pretty sturdy, pretty durable, especially like in the summertime. Um, you know, you don't have to worry about them melting all over the place. Um, biggest thing was maybe they would stick to the, um, outside wrapping if they got too hot <laughs> i don't know and then i guess you could have put them in the freezer or i don't know peel them off or something like that but yeah an old-time classic you know fun treat to have and um yeah I, it's been around forever and like i said if you're a fan of root beer you're a fan of uh you know hard candy stuff like that see if you can find a bag pick pick it up and relive a little bit of memories from when you were a little little kid you know <laughs> and yeah, well, grandma would have her purse and <laughs> a couple root beer candies, lifesavers, um, yeah, anything like that. You know, they're, they're the ones that just uh, kind of stuck around for a while, and someone always had them. So it's a little bit uh, fun, and uh, there you go. So, <laughs> it's kind of my memory of the root beer barrels. Um, I know from when I was little, I always loved them, and I probably still will. <laughs> Provided I could find them again. Like I said, that's the only place I ever found them. I guess I could look, start looking in the candy stores when they start opening. And um, yeah, check it out. Also could look online for them. And there you go. So that's my memory about root beer barrels for you guys. So if you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell over here. That way you won't miss any future content, or if I go live, you won't miss the fun. So, until next time, I'm Classic Candy Corner, when I'll be reviewing another old-time classic and rolling out the barrel for you. Um, put these aside and um, have them every once in a while when I have them. So, until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later.